This evening's sale of important Australian art at Sotheby's Australia achieved some exceptional results. These prices were achieved across all categories of Australian art, including contemporary, modern and traditional. It is most interesting to compare these results for the sale held at Sotheby's Australia this time last year. 2010 results are almost double of those achieved in 2009. This is very encouraging for the current market of Australian art. 180 against you, sir. 180,000 on bid, 85 if you wish. One of the most historically important paintings in this evening's auction was a work by Ernest Letitius. This was a painting by a German artist painted in New York of an Australian subject. The painting carried an estimate of 90 to $120,000. The painting sold for $168,000, including buyer's premium. This is a world auction record for Ernest Letitius. One of my personal favourites in this evening's auction was Arthur Streeton's Coogee, painted in 1907. This masterpiece of Australian Impressionism was the cover of our catalogue. The painting carried an estimate of $500,000 to $700,000 and sold for $750,000, including buyer's premium. We were especially pleased with this result. Perhaps the highlight of this evening's sale was the auction of Sidney Nolan's Ned Kelly, painted in 1956. This particular work, an iconic image in Australian art, carried an estimate of $120,000 to $180,000. There was fierce competitive bidding for this picture, both within the room and with telephones from within Australia and overseas. 200 if you wish, 200, the next bid is 220. 220, there are five people bidding at 340,000, at 360 on the aisle, 480,000, at $480,000, round figure, make it five, 490. The painting ultimately sold for $624,000, including buyer's premium. An enormously successful result and a very pleasing price for the work of Sidney Nolan. Another exceptional result in tonight's sale was Lloyd Rees's Sydney the Source, painted in 1973. This ravishing painting carried an estimate of $450,000 to $550,000. The result, including buyer's premium, was $504,000, which equals the world auction record price for a painting by Lloyd Rees. At $30,000, $32,000, at $42,000, at $42,000, 46 Sculpture by Australian artists was also very well represented in this evening's sale. One of the undoubted highlights was the sale of a wonderful rare marble sculpture by Joel Allenberg. Joel Allenberg passed away at the age of 32 and produced very few sculptures. This work carried an estimate of $120,000 to $160,000 and sold for, including buyer's premium, $192,000. This is the second highest price achieved for a sculpture by Joel Allenberg. My colleagues and I thank all those who supported our April sale. We are currently accepting consignments for our August 2010 auction that will be held in Sydney. We look forward to working with our clients to achieve again some exceptional results.